Now I gotta pose for the thumbnail. And this is my channel, Deanna Troy Travels, and Tuesdays is when I talk about anything travel related. And I just saw the doctor today for an injury that never healed during my trip. This is kind of a cautionary tale for anyone who is backpacking. I backpacked for two years all over Southeast Asia and Australia, which is where my injury happened. So uh, in Australia, I went to Townsville. Um, Townsville is not a touristy area, but I was visiting my friend Victoria. One of the things we were doing while we were in Townsville is seeing some national parks. Um, the park that we went to was Paluma Range National Park. I'm reading off my notes over here. We went to the Jarama Falls. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Jarama Falls is a beautiful waterfall area in Townsville, Australia. Yeah, <laughs> this is where I walked to my doom, apparently. Of course, I went in flip-flops because I'm a genius. Then I'm even more of a genius because I decided to take these flip-flops off. I'm looking for a picture because yes, I do have a picture of me taking off my flip-flops because I am photograph obsessed and I document everything. Here I am, of taking off my flip-flops, going barefoot. I don't know how well you can see this. Um, in lovely little waterfall areas, Ooh, look at me, I'm climbing with no shoes. Great job, Deanna. Then we decided to start jumping off of these rocks. Yeah, I jumped off of one big rock from the here to here, uh, flat on my feet. I sprung up like a green bean and said, woo. And then right after that, collapsed <laughs> right in the ground and was in so much pain, I couldn't get up afterwards. Um, I was crying, thankfully, my friend, Victoria, was at the time training to be a physical therapist in Australia. She was able to kind of help us figure out what to do in the situation. <laughs> I have another picture of this too, so I'm uh, bringing it up for you guys. Uh, I first tried to scoot along with my injury um, along the rocks. <laughs> Here I go. Here's me trying to scoot away um, after my fall. And there's my dutiful fiance looking at me and realizing that I'm how can I scoot along the waterfalls all the way back. So this is him giving me support as I am walking all the way back. And then eventually that's too much work. Whatever, I'm just gonna give her a piggyback ride <laughs> because I really could not walk. So after that, Victoria said that we should go to a physical therapist, get an x-ray. Uh, no bones were broken, thank goodness. Here, I of course have pictures of the x-ray too, but I don't, you can't really see that. But uh, in this picture, you can see the immense swelling I had. I was diagnosed, I guess, with a sprained ligament, um, which is kind of serious, but not super serious. So it seemed like it was gonna be okay. The physical therapist gave us directions for what to do and I was living with a physical therapist and she just happened to have crutches which was awesome. I was on crutches for two weeks at her house just on her couch the whole two weeks. <laughs> Victoria if you end up seeing this thank you so much you basically saved us. I don't know what we would have done if we weren't visiting you when this happened but I thought that was enough but uh, apparently it wasn't. So right after that two week mark, we had a big trip at the Uluru National Park in um, Alice Springs, Australia. This is a tourist attraction. Um, it's a big, huge rock <laughs> that's red. Okay, it's more exciting than just a rock, but it is a hiking adventure. I was starting to walk again, so I thought it would be totally fine to go on this three day wake up at 5 a.m., hike throughout the mountains, trip and sleep in sleeping bags on a rock wood ground in the freezing cold trip. <laughs> but apparently later on, I learned that it actually takes two months for a sprained ligament to heal, not two weeks. And it was such uneven ground that my feet were going all like this. And that's the main thing doctors say not to do with an ankle injury. I tried to be good 
And I actually sat out on a couple of the activities that everyone did. And I had to pretty much sit alone in the desert by myself while everyone was uh, walking around having fun <laughs> and hiking. Even though I took those precautions, it wasn't enough. That was, that incident was in August, 2017. Now <laughs> it is 2019 uh, in April and my ankle still hurts. Um, it, it goes on and off from really, really hurting to kind of feeling like it's gonna be okay. But I recently tried to start working out again um, and I think I really re-injured it. It hurts whenever I walk. It um, gets inflamed and swollen a lot. And just one trip of going to the store for two hours or going to the grocery store hurts my ankles. We've tried so many different things. The doctor, um, the foot doctor, <laughs> gotta get this high up again. She recommended I wear this cotton elastic ankle brace um, as much as I can. She told me not to take this off for two weeks to limit the amount of walking I do and to take these anti-swelling, anti-inflammatory medicine. I forgot to say, before she prescribed me that, I had an x-ray and I had an MRI. The x-ray showed up as negative with nothing broken. The MRI showed that my injury basically isn't healed because there is so much fluid and swelling still from these this two years that hasn't gotten down, which is ridiculous because, you know, two years you'd think that, well, how could there still be fluid in there after two years? But I'm getting out my notes again because I have all these paperworks right here. Uh, I can't pronounce this. Sinus tarsi syndrome and tenosynovitis in my right ankle and foot. <sighs> yeah. So <laughs> when you are traveling, make sure you take all the precautions that you can to not get injured in any way. If you are backpacking for a long time, you're doing a bunch of activities back and forth, back and forth, boom, boom, boom and you don't have a home base for you to just hang out and chill and recover and recoup. Be careful, be smart. If you have a sprained ligament somehow on your trip, stop, <laughs> just get in an apartment and just hang out if you can. Or I don't, I don't know, man, like you might even have to go home because honestly, you don't wanna be like me and end up with an injury that hasn't healed for over two years that I'm still working on. Also, get travel insurance and don't do anything stupid. This is my travel talk of this Tuesday. And every Tuesday, I talk about a different travel-related topic. Um, do you have any crazy injury stories from a trip that you took? Do you have any travel questions uh, regarding literally anything? Please ask me in the comments. I would be happy to help. And I will feature uh, anyone's YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter, etc of the question that I answer in my Travel Talk Tuesdays. So thank you for joining me this week. Subscribe and welcome to my traveler family. Bye.